Hello, good morning again, good day. Magandang araw sa ating lahat. Nandito na naman tayo. Welcome to our math class. This is for mathematics, module 1, adds and subtract simple fractions and mixed numbers with or without regrouping. Yours truly, my teacher Elizabeth Pinovia, video author and creator. So this is for addition of simple fractions with different denominators without regrouping in the sum. This is for module 1 activity C. Remember, to change the similar fraction to similar fraction, okay, for addition of fractions, you cannot add a fraction, especially if it is dissimilar, without changing it into similar fraction first, okay? So that is the step one or rule number one. Now let's proceed. Example, you have here one half plus one third equals five six. Paano naging five six yan? One half plus one third. Tingnan yung, okay? Tingnan yung kanyang denominator. You have two and Three, okay? So, let's proceed. Susundan natin kung bakit naging 5, 6 ang sagot. Okay? So, since we are going to change this dissimilar fraction into similar fraction, gamitin natin ang multiples of 2 and 3. Kasi yung denominator is 2 and 3. Okay? So, let's begin with 2. What are the multiples of 2? You have there 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, and 2 times 5. So, you have there 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Okay? Now, let's proceed to uh, denominator 3. So, let's write down the multiples of 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Alright? Did you see it? So, now, take a look at between denominator 2 and 3. Saan dito ang number na meron silang dalawang magkapareho na maliit? Kasi pwede naman nating dagdagan ito eh, up to 100. Sobrang mahaba na din. Uh, I just decide to have 5 or 4 multiples. Okay? So, anong nakikita nyo dito? Common numbers. Alright. Correct. The common uh, multiple between 2 and 3 is 6. Okay? Ayan, nakita nyo yan. So, we will make use 6 as our new denominator. Alright, so dito nakikita nyo yan. This will be our new denominator, 6. Okay? So, paano natin gawin? You start now dividing this new denominator to your fraction. So, divide 6 will be divided to 3. And then multiply to the numerator. Ganun din sa kabila. 6 will be divided to 3. And then multiply to the numerator to get a new similar fraction. Okay, let's start. So, meron na tayong denominator, common denominator 6. So, magsimula tayo sa 1 half. The denominator of 1 half is 2. So, dito tayo. Okay? Tingnan ninyo. 6 divided by 2. Ilan ba? Correct. Tatlo. Tama. So, 6 divided by 2 equals 3. Times 1 equals 3. So, that is why you are going to write your answer here. Okay? So, dito mo isulat ang sagot. Okay? So, yung 1 half mo nagiging 3 sixths. Okay? Now, let's proceed to 1 third. So, we have here 6 divided by 3 ayan ilang 3 ba meron sa 6 ok correct you have 2 6 divided by 3 equals 2 times 1 anong sagot very good you have an answer of 2 so this is now your answer alright so yung 1 third mo nagiging 2 6 Alright? 
So, pansinin ninyo, yung original fraction mo na 1 half and 1 3, magkaiba ang denominator which is 2 and 3. Now, nilipat mo siya, sabi dito, tingnan mo sa rule number 1, ang dissimilar fraction, kailangan gawing similar fraction. So, ngayon, similar fraction mo na 1 half and 1 third, nagiging similar fraction na siya na 3 sixths and 2 sixths. Nasundan ba? Okay, let's proceed. Now, you are going now to add. Siyempre, similar na siya. So, pwede ka nang mag-add kasi pariho ng kanyang denominator. Now, we add 3. Okay? Step 2 or rule number 2, you have there add the numerator and copy the common denominator. So, you are going to add 3 plus 2. The answer is 5. So, 3 plus 2. Ayan o. 3 plus 2 equals 5. Okay? Kita nyo? Kaya, yung sagot dito na 5, 6 sa taas, yan yun ang process kung bakit nagiging 5, 6 ang kanyang sagot. So, just copy the common denominator 6. Ayan. Kopyahin nyo lang yung 6 kasi ito yung common denominator ninyo. Okay? So, kopyahin nyo, isulat nyo dyan. Now, tingnan nyo sa taas, si 5, mas maliit siya kaysa 6. Tapos, hindi na siya pwedeng paliitin pa or i-divide pa natin kasi, kung baga sa Bisaya, pabongkig na. ba? This is already a prime number. So, wala na siya pwedeng ipares lain except 1. 1 times 5 or 5 times 1. The answer is 5. So, kapag ganyan ang sagot, therefore, 5, 6 is already a lowest term. Kasi fraction tayo. Hindi pwedeng magsulat tayo or gumawa tayo ng sagot. Final answer na, pwede pa siyang paliitin. Kailangan lahat ng sagot sa fractions, always express that in lowest term. Kasi kahit tama, pero hindi naman siya naka-express sa lowest term, mali pa rin yan. Tandaan nyo yan ha? Okay, so let's have another example. Okay. Now, let's practice. One-third plus one-fourth. Ano yung given denominator dito? Correct. You have three and four. Okay? So, ano yung process natin kanina? Paano natin ginawang similar fraction ang dalawang ito o yung dati para mag-add tayo or mag-plus tayo ng fraction? Yes, we are going to use the multiple. So, write down the multiples of 3 first. Okay? So, you have here 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Okay? Now, let's have 4. Subukan naman natin si 4. Okay? So, these are the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. Alright? Now, again, try to take a look at the multiples of 3 and multiples of 4. What is the common number among them or between them? Between 3 and 4. Nakita ba? Yes, the common number is 12. Correct. Very good. So, 12 is now your new, ang tawag dyan? Yes, denominator. Siya yung ipapalit natin sa 3 and 4. Okay? Dahil ito, dissimilar, dilita pwede mag-plus. So, himoon nato siyang similar, kaya gisulat nato dari ang multiples of 3 and multiples of 4 para makita nato ang common no pariho sa ilang duha nga gamay so we will make use 12 as our new denominator sulat so, natin dito so lcd is 12 ayan meron ka ng bagong denominator and that is already your similar fraction okay nasundan ba now ano yung proseso what is the process to get your new numerator Using your new denominator 12. Matatandaan pa ba? So, from here, simula dito sa 12,
we're going to div divide 12 by 3. Okay? So divide 12 by 3 and then multiply it by the numerator 1 to get a new answer. Okay? So let's have, let's begin. 12 divided by 3, ilang 3 meron sa 12? Of course, apat. Correct. So, 4 times 1, kaya meron kang answer na 4. Okay? And here, you already have 4 twelves. So, yung 1 third mo, nagiging 4 twelves. Okay? Next, let's divide 12 by 4. So, let's have 12 divided by 4. Ilang 4 meron sa 12? Mm -hmm. Yes, 3. Times 1, you have 3. Correct. So, the answer is 3. Alright? So, you write your answer here. Alright. So, yung 1 fourth mo nagiging 3 twelves. Okay, nasundan ba? Sana nasundan ha? Now, 1 third plus 1 fourth equals 4 twelves plus 3 twelves. Can you now proceed to addition? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because your dissimilar fraction 1 third and 1 fourth is now similar fraction. 4 twelves and 3 twelves. Yan lang naman ang tandaan natin. Basta fraction ang pinag-uusapan, mga palangga, dili ka pwede mag-plus, dili ka pwede mag-minus, kung dili pariho ang denominator. Tandaan lagi yan, ha? So, sa subtraction lang yan. Subtraction, addition, tanaon da yun ang denominator, kung pariho ba. Dili pwede mag-plus, dili pwede mag-add, Dili po, hindi mag-subtract or minus kung ang denominator dili pariho. Kaya, i-change muna natin papunta sa similar fraction. Natandaan ba? Tandaan nyo yan. Okay, so we already have a similar fraction, 4 twelves and 3 twelves. So, we proceed to addition. So, ano ang i-plus natin dito? Siyempre, hindi na natin tanggalin o hindi na natin alisin o hindi na natin galawin yung denominator na 12 kasi yan yung similar fraction na, okay? Common denominator nila. So, what we are going to add is only the numerator 4 and 3. What is the answer? 4 plus 3. Alright. Magaling. The answer is 7. And sabi doon sa rule number 2, i-add daw ang numerator and then anong sunod? Correct. Just copy the common denominator, 12. Okay? So, nandito. Kukopyahin lang natin si 12 mula dito. Okay? Common denominator man siya. So, therefore, your 4 twelves plus 3 twelves equals 7 twelves. Now, bago tayo magsaya, ano? Bago tayo magpapalakpak dyan, tingnan muna natin si 7 twelves. Sa tingin nyo ba, lowest term na yan, 7 twelves? Hindi natin pwedeng paliitin. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, 7 is already in lowest term. Bungkig naman ang 7, di ba? Wala na ilang number. So, 7 divided by 2? Pwede ba? Dili. 7 divided by 3? Dili. Pod. Divide 4? Etc. So, dili. Automatic, 1 na yun na ihamparis, di ba? So, kapag ganyan ang number, mga palangga, dapat abtik ang mata, ha? Tanaw ninyo ang answer kung improper fraction ba na siya. Kanang mo tag improper fraction, kanang dako ni Diri, oh. Kining, kining 7, mas dako kaysa 12, na? Kining imuhang numerator, mas dako kaysa imong denominator, okay? So, kapag ganyan, tingnan natin kung Pwede pa ba siyang ma-divide? Pwede pa ba siyang ma-reduce to lowest term? Okay? Kapag hindi na, kasi wala na, wala na tayong mapagkunan, hindi na natin pwedeng mahati, 
Eh, di yan na yung final answer natin. So, bibilugan na natin siya. That is already the final answer. So, 1 third plus 1 fourth equals 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths equals 7 twelfths. Nagets ba? Okay, sana makatulong ito. Pwede nyo ulit-ulitin ang pagpanood nito. Makatulong ito sa inyo. And just feel free to text or um, send me your message or comment or what? Questions para malaman ko kung naintindihan ba o wala. Panoorin nyo lang ulit-ulitin nyo lang ito para makatulong sa inyo. No? Activity number, uh, letter C, uh, module 1. Okay? That's all for today. And again, good luck sa inyong lahat. Sana maraming perfect. Ano? Okay, bye. Till next time.